Hey guys, it's Lexi. I have a haul today to share with you from Britta's Creepy Treasures. This was a part of her birthday bash sale, which was a ready to ship of a lot of her scents that were um, offered during like her previous pre-order. And I think she had some other like springtime scents maybe from the order before that, like the pre-order before that, I believe. So there was a ton of things available on the site. And then she also did like giveaway, live giveaways um, on her Facebook group. And I actually ended up winning one of those giveaways. So I have a lot of stuff to share in this haul and I'm really excited to share it. These are all going to be first sniff impressions besides a few of the scents I believe were repurchases. I think probably only like two or three were repurchases. So for the most part, all of these are new to me scents. Um, before I dive into it, I do wanna say that this box came with all of the stuff wrapped beautifully in all of this tissue paper. It has some like packing peanuts, I guess. And then I think all of the ones that were kind of left out here, I believe these were all a part of the um, like giveaway winnings. So that is awesome. And I see a pen down below. So I am literally unboxing this as we speak. I love Britta's pens. I think that they are so handy and they write really well. Um, I know that's kind of like an odd thing to say, but sometimes certain pens don't, um, they don't glide really smooth on paper and everything, but her pens are just really, really good. I really like her pen. So um, this one's like a pretty green color. Love that. Very happy to have that. And then another thing I'll say before I jump into this haul is um, I will leave like all of the information down below. I didn't see any like um, card or anything in here, but I will leave all of the information of how to shop, how to find her Facebook group page and everything like that down below if you're interested. I have been hauling a lot of British stuff lately, so I'm sure if you are watching this one, you've seen some other British hauls from me. And if you haven't, I'll link a few because I mean, I, her wax is so good to me. So, all right, these are all of the winnings. So I am very appreciative that I won the giveaway or one of the giveaways. She had a ton, there's a ton of people that won. I think if you placed an order during the birthday bash sale that she had, your name was automatically put into the running and she was just drawing names during the lives. So that was really fun um, and I loved participating. I couldn't participate in all of the lives, but I really loved participating in, I think I got on two of them. So that was really fun to watch and see like who was winning and um, all the stuff that they were talking about. So that was really great. Um, all right, so first scent here I have is Kit and Alma. I'm not sure what that's from, but the scent notes are Rustic Lodge, Cornbread and Blackberry Jam. And I'm not sure what Rustic Lodge notes are made up from. Um, like the notes within that. This is a cute little zombie head. It's green, blue, and like white in between. Ooh, and I really like this. Um, there's something in here that kind of reminds me of Cider Lane a little bit. And I'm not sure if Rustic Lodge has like caramel or apple within it, but I feel like I'm getting like a caramel apple Cider Lane type of vibe. And I do get a little hint of cornbread, but it's not like overly um, cornbready. So I feel like that's a note that I feel like sometimes can overtake blends. And it's not super strong in this, but it is there. And I think the blackberry is just pairing really well with like that caramely apple scent, which must be the Rustic Lodge note. That is so good. I really like that. Wow. Okay. So Kitten Alma, that is off to a great start because that is delicious. This next scent I have is Hooves on the Rooftop. It's Cashmere Cream Patchouli and Crackling Birch. I love her patchouli. I love patchouli in general, like any patchouli, but Britta's got a really good patchouli. Even people that don't think they like patchouli end up liking Britta's patchouli because it's like sweeter, um, more like toned, not sweeter, I guess, but like more toned down patchouli, not so earthy and sharp. So this was really, really nice. I like this. I think the Crackling Birch, is like the strongest thing I'm picking up. And I'm getting the cashmere, but it's kind of light. Like it's not like overwhelmingly like cashmere. It's mostly like a sweet crackling birch with like, a, you can get that like earthy patchouli note in it, but it's not overwhelming by any means. That smells very beautiful. I really like that. I might want to melt this sooner because this has a Christmassy kind of theme name. So my brain wants me to melt it around that time of year, but that smells really good. I might want to melt that sooner. 
This one is Monsters Under the Bed or Monster Under the Bed. It's flannel sheets and blue sugar. And this is the coolest shape. It's like a witch's like skirt and stockings and shoes. Ooh, whoa. Okay, so typically I have just kind of started enjoying the flannel sheets oil um, because I'm, I used to not really be that big of a, a laundry type fan, but I'm starting to really enjoy it more. And then the blue sugar is another scent note that typically I don't go for, but this works really well together. Sometimes I feel like if you pair blue sugar with like a bakery, sometimes I feel like it's too sweet. Like it makes the note, the sweet notes in the blue sugar come out more. And I feel like I like the laundry paired with it. I feel like that works really, really well. So this, I really am surprising, surprisingly enjoying. Wow. That, so that's good. Monsters under the, monster under the bed. Flannel sheets and blue sugar. I would have never thought... I don't see a lot of blends like that and I never would have thought that that would go together, but that actually makes me kind of like blue sugar. So, wow, very surprised, very pleased, really, really pleased with that. This is a cute little jack-o'-lantern shape here and it is in Christmas Day Massacre, which is cherry pie and oatmeal raisin cookie. And this one sounds really, really good, really good. Ooh, whoa, that is delicious. I mean, it's definitely like a cherry it's a cherry bakery scent. I guess I wouldn't be able to say like cherry pie because I think the oatmeal cookie makes it smell like, like a, um, kind of like a cherry crisp is what it reminds me of. Cause I almost get like the oatmeal raisin. Is it oatmeal raisin? Yeah, oatmeal raisin. Kind of makes it smell like, like a crumbly oatmeal like topping, like a brown sugar oatmeal topping. And I do get a bit of the raisin in there too. That is, delicious that's christmas day massacre really like that and then finally for the like giveaway winnings i have freak show this is nag champa funnel cake and pumpkin pie spice so it's not pumpkin pie it's pumpkin pie spice so i wonder if it's going to be like very spicy typically funnel cake scents can scare me a little bit but we'll see hmm this is not as spicy as i thought it was going to be based on like the notes what is the first scent Nag Champa, that's it. I do smell the Nag Champa. Nag Champa sometimes um, smells like like edible, like food, almost like it could be like a food, like a savory food, but I don't, this smells, I don't want you to think this smells savory, but sometimes to me, Nag Champa can come across like it's almost like a savory food dish. I know it's not, um, but Paired with the paired with the spices in here, I think it because it's Nag Champa, I think it's toning down the spice in here. That's it, the, very interesting. I literally would have never thought that that would smell like that. Um, but it's okay. I like it. I don't love it, but things change all the time when you melt them. So this could be a surprise melt that I could like throw in my warmer and be like, Oh my gosh, I really love that. Um, I just had that recently happen with another scent that I was like, I put that scent off melting for the longest time. Finally threw it into my warmer and I was like, oh, that's actually delicious. So things change all the time. So just because I'm not a huge fan on cold doesn't mean I won't like completely love it on warm. Um, so let me share also before I unravel all of this and I might just pause it and unravel these. This is how everything came packaged. There are multiple bags, but like individually wrapped, probably like three or four each wrapped in a bag with this like beautiful orange tissue paper, totally fits her aesthetic and everything looks like so neat and organized. So I love that. So I'm going to pause it and then unwrap everything and then come back and show you guys what I have. First one I have here is Carrie White. I ended up getting a couple souffles, but for the most part, I have like the skull shapes and the ghost shapes. I find that these are perfect for me. They store really well because I kind of like lay them out flat next to each other and just like line them up in a row. And so they store really easily. And typically I can chop these into four pieces, the ghost and the skull shape. And so I'll get like one complete warm in my house. 
The bigger like souffle sizes that I have, these are either ones that I thought I would really, really like and want a little bit more of, or things that I've had before and I know that I enjoy and they perform really well in my home. So, okay, back to it. Carrie White, this is pomegranate, moonflower, and mango sorbet. This is one that I was really, really anticipating smelling because that moonflower note and because I really like mango sorbet. That fragrance oil is like a huge favorite of mine. Um, I don't know what moon moonflower is, but I'm assuming it's probably like a, a bright white floral. Ooh, that is interesting. So I do get... I do get like a fruity, juicy kind of quality. I couldn't say it's distinctly like the mango sorbet note that I'm used to. Maybe it's the pomegranate. It is definitely like a fruity, juicy, it's like a fruity floral scent. And I, I don't know. It's, it's like, um, it's really good, but it's, it's hard to describe what I'm smelling. I wouldn't say if you're used to that mango sorbet oil, it's probably, that's not the first thing I smell in this, but I do smell like a, a fruity kind of tropical fruity scent. Maybe it's the, I, it must be the pomegranate, which I've also never smelled in Fender Wax before. I've never seen that note. Let me stick it back in the bag and give it a sniff in here. It must be the, ah, I think it's mostly like a pomegranate note that I'm getting that's like the base fruit um, with maybe like a hint of the mango. And then that moonflower is very interesting and really hard to describe. It doesn't smell like jasmine and I kind of thought it might smell like jasmine. It's not like a rose floral. It does smell like um, more on the powdery end than like the sharp, like um, perfumey, like sharp floral. I don't know if that makes any sense, but sometimes there are like sharp florals and sometimes there are like powdery sweet florals. This smells like more of a sweet one. Um, definitely very, very pretty. So that is Carrie White, really like that. The next one I have here is She'll Die First. This is Butter Mints, Pink Sugar, and Mrs. Claus's Cookies. And I was just very curious because, I don't know, I just sounded in. I got so many things that I'm just like, yeah, why not? Because it was a sale and there was like a ton of variety. So I just got a bunch of everything. This is the most pretty colors, like combination ever. I love the red, blue, and purple. Ooh, and this smells really, really yummy. This is um, a very, very pretty sweet minty pink sugar blend. It definitely is distinctly like butter mints because it smells like that melt in your mouth kind of mint scent. And it pairs really well with that pink sugar. And I don't get like an overwhelming Mrs. Claus's cookie, which I believe is like an eggnog based cookie bakery scent. And it's not overwhelming in this, but I can tell that that pink sugar is cut down by some kind of like a sweet vanilla bakery. So. I really like that that is she'll die first next i have a repurchase this one i didn't get in a larger size mostly because this one is a it's a christmas scent um in my eyes it's something that i'll probably only melt around christmas and i wanted to get just a little bit in case it doesn't come back next year but i I'm pretty sure because it did so well this year i'm pretty sure this will come back next year and then i'll get it again in a larger size next year for the Christmas season so I can get it a little bit closer so it will perform better and not be like just waiting a whole year for Christmas if that makes any sense makes sense in my head anyway it's Kim's special eggnog it's roasted pine cones and eggnog I did melt this in my Christmas like December melting basket this year and I really enjoyed it it is oh that's yummy it is just like a really sweet creamy eggnog with a bit of that like kind of nutty, woodsy pine cone note. It's really, really pretty. Um, of course, that's why I got a little bit more of it, but that's a great scent. I'll definitely get a bigger size if it comes back and hopefully will next year. Next one I have is Murder House. Oh, also really excited about this one. I remember thinking about this one after I placed the order, like while I was waiting for this to come in, I was like, I bet that one smells good. So Murder House is cherry pie, crackling birch and fire roasted marshmallow. Once again, I absolutely love the pretty layering. This is white, red, and purple on a little skull. Mm. Yeah, this is good. This is, this is a good combination. I do smell the crackling birch, but it's way toned back. I think that this smells 
um, a little lighter, not lighter on the crackling birch, but compared to the other like um, crackling birch scent that I had, that one ha was stronger in this note, in that note. Um, and then this one I feel like is more cherry with the crackling birch after. And the marshmallows there and it's sweet. It's like a sweet, creamy, woodsy, cherry bakery. Just really, really yummy. That is delicious. I really enjoy that. So that one is Murder House. Love, love Brita's aesthetic. I think it's so fun. This one here is Jason. This set, <laughs> this one I had a long time ago and I melted it and I remember really enjoying it. And I didn't see it on her website for like the longest time or if it was, I must have missed it. So when I saw it was available, I got some more of it. I really do enjoy this. Honestly, I wish I would have gotten a larger size of this. Maybe it wasn't available because I feel like I would have gotten a larger size of this had I saw it, but that's okay. Jason is hipster roasted pine cones and vanilla bean marshmallow. And hipster is like a single fragrance oil that's like a blend of some, it's got some random stuff in it. I think there's bergamot within there. Um, and then I don't know what else is in hipster, but maybe cough, is there coffee in there? I'm not sure, um, but it's a it's very interesting scent. Ooh, yeah, I do smell the, um, that, I think the, I th I'm pretty sure there's bergamot within hipster because I feel like that's what I'm smelling first is like a bergamot scent which is like citrusy, bright citrusy, but sometimes leans a little masculine. It can be a note that they use in a lot of like colognes. Um, this doesn't smell 100% like a cologne, but it, it gives you the like, it, I guess it kind of smells like Jason, I guess. <laughs> like um, a man out outdoors, like outdoorsy, woodsy scent, but also like masculine leaning. This is really, really nice. Honestly, I kind of wish I saw more hipster oils out there because I really do enjoy it a lot. So that is Jason. If you want kind of like a, if you like the roasted pine cone oil and you are also a fan of like fresh, clean, slightly cologne leaning scents, then you'd probably really love Jason. That's really, really good. Huge fan of that. Next one I have is Max Engel. I'm not sure who that is. It's got to be from a scary movie, right? Um, it's a notes of Fraser fir, roasted pine cones, and Palo Santo. So once again, not hipster, but Palo Santo sometimes also can lean slightly masculine, depending. Um, and then with a Fraser fir, this is so pretty too. Mmm. Whoa. I really like that. Ooh. So Britta also has a really good Palo Santo. To me, it's like a woodsy, creamy kind of Palo Santo. And I really, I think that Palo Santo and the roasted pine cone oils that she has go really well together. They work hand in hand. They almost feel like they could be like brothers because it just goes well together. And then what was the other note in here? Fraser fir, yes. I do get, of course I, I, I'm picking up that, but it's not like, it's not overwhelmingly like tree. I mean, it does, you do smell the tree, but it's not like, I feel like the first thing I'm smelling is like that Palo Santo. Oof, that's yummy. Roasted pine cone. Yeah, no, I do. The more I smell, the more I'm like, yeah, I do get fur. But it's really, really yummy. That also smells kind of, I feel like this kind of also reminds me of Jason. They, I feel like these are scents that it's like, if you like Jason, you'd probably like this. And if you like this, you'd probably like Jason. Those are really good scents. So that was Max Engel. I have... A few more ghosties. I guess we'll do those before I move on to the bigger shape. So this ghost is red, blue, and like a greenish, red, blue, and orange, sorry. That's a greenish kind of blue, I guess. It's swim trunks and bloody hunks. Pineapple, mango, maraschino cherry, and Bora Bora, which Bora Bora is another single fragrance oil. I'm not sure what's in that. Is there, it's like a tropical one, I think, but it's, is it coconut in there? Coconut or something? Um, Either way, let's see. This is really pretty. I love her layers. Mmm. This smells, this smells like Hawaiian punch. Like the red, big old jug of Hawaiian punch. 100% Hawaiian punch. Machine cherry, pineapple, mango, bora bora. This smells like the most delicious cocktail that you're drinking. That's a frozen cocktail on the beach. It's not boozy or anything. There's no alcohol note in here. But it's like, like a Hawaiian punch 
tropical drink kind of a scent. That is really yummy. That is swim trunks and bloody hunks. That will be perfect for summer. Perfect for summer. This one is Spellbound. It's yellow cake, jelly donut, vanilla ice cream, and sweet and creamy. And this one also sounds, this is another one that I remember thinking about while I was waiting for it. It's gorgeous orange, purple, and green layers here. Oh, yum. Oof, this smells like very delicious. Like, like you walk into like a, uh, we've got this donut shop near us and they're like, famous for their jelly donuts that they have like jelly bun commercials all the time. And this smells like a jelly bun. This smells like a, a powdered donut, like a fried powdered donut that's like filled with like a jelly in the center. Oof, this is really, really yummy. Really, really yummy. And it's not like overwhelmingly, it's not like straight up jam jelly kind of scent. You can absolutely smell like the bakery components with it sometimes i feel like um jelly donut scent sometimes i feel like all i smell is the jelly and not the donut that one i feel like i get the bakery quality which is great um these two look the same oh they're not okay so similar colors which i love these colors um we'll do this one first this is coven coven is coffee vanilla pumpkin marshmallow and caramel kettle corn i really have been enjoying caramel kettle corn notes this is purple white and pink love this little ghosty Mmm, I like that. I get like that salty sweet kettle corn note, which love. And then I, do, I get a hint of the coffee, but it's not overwhelming coffee. The vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, which is a Bath and Body Works type. I do get, I smell that a lot. It's mostly the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, caramel kettle corn. And I'm just getting a hint of the coffee. Almost smells like a um, like a salted caramel latte, like a salted caramel pumpkin latte type of thing, where it's like the coffee is there but not super pronounced, not like sharp espresso type coffee scents can be. Um, it's more like creamy toned back, um, but really really pretty. I love anything with her like caramel kettle corn note. That's just such a good note. Um, oh yeah, and then this one here. This is similar colors, different name. It's Babashook. And if you are a fan of her Exorcist scent, but you wish it was a little bit sweeter and creamier, then you'd probably like Babashook. Um, I've kind of compared these both back and forth. And Babashook is just like, the, like I said, like a more toned down version of that. It's patchouli, sugar cookie, vanilla bean, marshmallow, and sweet and creamy. And this is like very, very sweet. And you do get the patchouli, but it's just a hint. It's mostly sweet and creamy, but the patchouli adds like this earthy kind of quality to it. Patchou Her Britta's patchouli to me always reminds me of like Halloween in, in New York where it's like the leaves are turning and you're throwing on a sweater and you're going into haunted houses and it's like that that fall kind of a feeling. So this scent definitely reminds me of fall. It's so does the exorcist, which she also had available on this, but I, I think I have a backup of the exorcist. And also that was another one. I was like, I'll wait until I get a little closer to fall to get some more of that, or just like order in a loaf or something. Cause that's such a good scent. So that one is Babashook. Babashook is great. Exorcist is great. I feel like I have so many favorites from Britta. So those are both great scents. This one here is Monster Bash. This is another repurchase. It's sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, yellow cake, butter brickle, and vanilla bean oil. And this might have been the scent that I really fell in love with a couple of years ago that was like a really, really, really good performer. But I can't remember, you guys. I gotta, I gotta write things down better. Um, I think that this one was. This one is like the most delicious sweet vanilla bakery ever. This smells so darn good. I, I I love it. It's vanilla bakery. I mean, it's sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, yellow cake. But yeah, it's just, it's all vanilla, yellow cake, cookie, sugar cookie scents. This is amazing. I love this one. I, if I melt this again um, and realize that this is the one that I melted last time and which made me fall in love with Britta's bakery scents, then I'll probably have to get this one in a loaf as well as the exorcist. <laughs> 
I'm just writing down names of scents, scents that I want in Lowe's at this point with Brita stuff because it is that good and it just always performs so good for me. So, okay. This one is The Other Mother. It is White Cloud, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Wild Berry Mousse. The White Clouds oil intrigued me because I have a soap that I tried from Bath and Body Works and I don't think it was White Clouds. I think it was called Vanilla Clouds, but I'm curious if that is White Clouds or if it's the same. Love the colors on this. Honestly, it might be. Maybe not because I get a little bit of laundry. Is there laundry in White Clouds? Is White Clouds a laundry, you guys? I don't know. I mean, this smells absolutely phenomenal. It's sweet and creamy, but I do get like a sweet, possibly like a laundry freshness from it. It's like a, it kind of reminds me of like a sweet strawberry, like a fruity strawberry baby laundry detergent. Like it smells like it's not sharp. It's not like a sharp laundry scent, but it's like a, it's like a more toned back one, something you would like a soft and clean, something you'd use on like a baby. Um, that's really, really pretty. I really like that. That is the other mother. This one is, I believe new. It's the killer could easily be female. I'm not sure if this one is new or not, but it sounded really good. Notes are harvest moonlight and cashmere cream. And she's, I saw what harvest moonlight was. I'll have to leave it if I can find it, but it just sounded really, really good. Ooh, this reminds me of fall. There is something in here that reminds me of fall and being in like a cornfield. This reminds me of being in like a, like a corn maze. That sounds so weird. Harvest moonlight. It must be what, whatever is in that note. It's like, it's like earthy, like dried, dried earthy, like leaves type of scent. Kind of like the like a leaf scent, not like Bath and Body Works leaves where it's like apples and clover or whatever. This smells like earth, like earthy leaves, but there is like a very um, sweet, creamy, like freshness from the cashmere cream. Really, really pretty. That's a, a, kind of similar to the last one where it's like a pretty scent, but this is like a more mature pretty scent. So this one, I already got a sneak peek. This has come out wherever you are. It is Pink Flamingo Margarita and Champagne Toast. This is a, another really pretty like witch flying over the moon type shape. And this one smells freaking delicious. It smells like, like a lime based fizzy punch. So like if you had like a lemon lime soda and you poured it into um, like a rainbow sherbet type kind of punch um like okay I don't know I don't know if anybody else's family's ever did this but my family at Christmas on my mom's side would always make this punch that was like Hawaiian um Hawaiian punch I think based and then they would pour like spray into it and put like rainbow sherbet ice cream in it it kind of smells like that because there's like a fizzy quality but like mostly lime like you get a strong kick of the lime and then a little bit of like a sweetness from like some other like possibly like a cherry I don't know if that's what pink flamingo is but I get a lot of cherry from it so really like that scent that will also be perfect for summer and then I have four soufflés all of these were scents that I just thought would be really good to try um besides one of them which I have tried so Hannah Crana this is the one that I repurchased in a larger size Hannah Crana is Palo Santo pink sugar and roasted pine cones like I mentioned with the other, I got a lot of roasted pine cone scents I see, um, but Britta does roasted pine cones amazing. Uh, her roasted pine cone oil, I think is one of the best out there. Um, I really, really like it. And it's just like the way she blends, it's really good. So anyway, this is a scent that if you like roasted pine cones and you haven't tried Hannah Crana, I could not recommend it more. And I'm not even that big of a fan of pink sugar, but this blend makes me love pink sugar. So. Like I said, Palo Santo pink sugar and roasted pine cones. And I bet you this is layered too. Let me, oh, I don't want to ruin it, but I bet you it's layered. Yeah, I'm not going to pull it out because this is breaking apart. It's really soft. Um, but this scent is just so phenomenal. Pink sugar sometimes can be overwhelmingly sharp or like perfumey to my nose, but I really enjoy the way that it's paired with 
like the roasted pine cones, it kind of like tones it down and it makes it like sweet and earthy. And then the Palo Santo gives it like a little bit of a nice balance to like the masculine or like pink sugar is like kind of the feminine and then the Palo is kind of the masculine. So it just kind of melds well together. I really, really like it. So that's a, a huge favorite. Then I have Summer Creeps. This is strawberry, coconut cream pie, and waffle cone. And I just thought strawberry and coconut cream pie sounded so good, like a great combination. So, ooh, that's really yummy. Okay, so I definitely get like the fresh pick strawberry oil. To my nose, it smells like the fresh pick strawberry oil, which I've been really enjoying lately. I do get like a sweet creaminess, which must be coming from the coconut cream pie, but I couldn't distinctly say it's coconut cream pie. It just is, it's like a sweet, creamy kind of vanilla kind of quality. Maybe it smells different on the bottom. Once again, I don't want to break it. I won't be able to get this out. Um, and then what's the other note? Waffle cone. It could just be adding to the, like that sweet creaminess, but this is like, distinctly that fresh picked strawberry oil with like a creamy note following it really really pretty i cannot wait to melt that one i'll definitely melt that this summer i have another one that i cannot wait to melt this summer this is pennywise this sounded phenomenal it's caramel kettle corn which i love strawberry pound cake another love and cotton candy frosting another love so this honestly sounds like a scent that is right up my alley oh jeez, that is yummy yeah, that is delicious. I bet you even this would go well with the summer creeps to add in even more of the strawberry scent. I just, I re I've been really liking strawberry right recently. Oh, this smells really yummy. I get, I think I get the strawberry pound cake mostly, but there is like that salty kind of quality from the caramel popcorn. Can it? Cotton candy frosting, I couldn't really say I'm, I'm pulling that distinctly, um, but this smells like a sweet strawberry, salt, sweet, sweet and salty strawberry kind of a scent. So that one's really pretty. And then this one is Come Play With Us. This is the last one I have. It's Captain Crunch Berries, Blackberry Jam, and Sugar Cookies. I also love Captain Crunch Berry scents, and this one is a really beautiful bright orange. Oof, yum. That smells really yummy. Mm. I get the, I get the crunch berry first. Oh man, I really wish I could pop this out because I know it would be pretty underneath. I just know it would be. Um, and then this one also, I get way more of the blackberry jam on the bottom of it. It's like, it's so funny how that happens. It's mostly Captain Crunch Berry on the top, mostly blackberry jam on the bottom. That is so weird when that happens, but it happens. Um, this smells delicious. I love it. I'm sure that once I melt that one, I'll love it even more because I really enjoy that Captain Crunch Berries, which is like the, I don't even know how to describe Captain Crunch Berries. It's, it smells like, um, like an artificial fruit cereal, but like in the best way possible. Cause who does not like eating cereal, especially like late, a late night bowl of cereal, like a sugary cereal. It's like my favorite thing. So love that. That is come play with us. And that is my entire order. So thank you, Britta, if you're happening to watch. All of this was just like so much fun to unwrap and smell for the first time. And if you haven't checked out Britta's Wax, definitely recommend. I think her stuff is so, so fun. Love the names, love the colors, love the layering, love the shapes, love like the thought that goes into each scent name with the notes, like they all make sense. Like the Jason one is so funny to me. It totally makes sense for Jason. and this makes sense for Pennywise and it's just it's fun I really like it and I'm also like a big Halloween fan too so that is it I really hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed watching I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you in my next video bye guys